In this video, I will demonstrate the most easiest way to create a Windows 11 bootable USB on a Mac without any third-party software. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends today I will show you a simple method of creating a Windows 11 bootable USB drive on a Mac. This method is extremely easy and works on all Apple computers. So it doesn't matter whether you are using Apple Silicon Mac or Intel Mac. This method works fine as long as you do not skip any part of this video. So friends, to create a fully functional Windows 11 bootable USB drive on Mac, we need three things. The Windows 11 ISO file, a blank USB drive with a minimum capacity of 8 gigabytes, and an internet connection. First we will prepare our USB drive and then make it bootable. To do so, plug your USB drive into your Mac. Now go to your Utilities folder and open Disk Utility app. When it's opened, then click on the view icon and choose Show All Devices. From the sidebar, select the top level of your USB drive. Now from this table, note down your disk number. In my case the disk number is 2. After that, close your disk utility app. Now once again navigate to your utilities folder and this time open your terminal app. Wa woo woo. Please don't worry, you don't have to do anything difficult here, you just have to copy paste or type some simple commands here. To do so, please navigate to the video description, copy the first terminal command, and paste it into your terminal app. You should see a question mark at the end of this command. Kindly replace the question mark with the number of your disk. In my case the number is 2, so I type 2 here, and then, press the enter key. Now copy the second command, and paste it into your terminal app. As before, replace the question mark with your disk number. Hit the enter key. Now copy the third terminal command from the video description and paste it into your terminal app. After that, hit the enter key of your keyboard. This time from here, you have to identify your USB drive with the help of its disk number. In my case, the disk number is 2, which means this is my USB drive. Now from here, note down your EFI disk number. In my case, it's disk 2S1. Now go to the video description and copy the last terminal command and paste it into your terminal app. Replace question marks with your EFI disk number. Hit the enter key, type your admin password, and hit the enter key again. This action will mount your USB drive EFI partition. That's all, 99% of our hard work is done. Now close the terminal and download Windows 11 ISO file. If you already have Windows 11 ISO file, then you can feel free to use it. Otherwise, go to Microsoft website, answer some basic questions, and download the Windows 11 ISO file. Once the Windows ISO file is downloaded, mount it. Now copy all the files from ISO to your USB drive. Once you have finished copying the files, you may close this window and safely eject the Windows 11 ISO file. To complete the process of creating a fully functional Windows 11 bootable USB drive on a Mac, you must do one more step. Go to my Google Drive and download this tiny MZ Learning EFI folder. Of course, the link is in the video description. This folder contains Windows 11 boot files. After downloading, kindly unzip the folder. Now open EFI folder and transfer its contents to the EFI partition of your USB drive. And that's all. Our Windows 11 100% working bootable USB drive is ready to use.